Hi, I'm Amelia, the maker and designer behind Coffee and Crochet. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make these mosaic crochet coasters, and you'll learn a simple pattern repeat that you can use to later on go one step further and create this pillow. You'll find all the details on the blog post on lovecrafts.com. Now let's get started. To make our coasters, we'll need DK yarn in two colors. I'm using Paintbox Yarns Cotton DK, a 4mm crochet hook, scissors, and a darning needle. Begin with color one. Make a slip knot. Insert your hook in the slip knot. Pull tight and then chain 16. When you have your 16 chains, you'll begin with row 1. Insert your hook in the second chain from the hook. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops on the hook. You now made your first single crochet. Continue with single crochets across the row. You'll have 15 single crochets after row one. Chain one and turn. For row two, you'll repeat row one and make single crochets across the row. For the final single crochet of row two, we'll also change color. So insert the hook, pull through a loop, and before we'll th pull through the two loops on the hook, we'll change color. So we take our color two, and then pull through both loops on the hook with color two, chain one, and turn. We're now ready to begin our row three. On row three, we'll make two single crochets. One. Chain one, then we'll skip next stitch. So skip that and insert the hook, the next stitch. And we'll make four single crochets. Chain one, skip next stitch. And then we'll make four single crochets. Chain one, skip next stitch, and end the row with two single crochets. Chain one, and turn. Row four, we repeat row three, so two single crochets. Chain one, skip next stitch, four single crochets. And then on the final single crochet, we'll change color to color one. Insert the hook, pull up a loop, change to your color one, pull through both loops on the hook with color one, chain one, and turn. For row five, we begin with one single crochet. Chain one, skip next stitch, and then we'll make a long double crochet on row two. It's easy to find it since you'll always go down to the row that has the same color as you're currently working with. So we know that it's this row we'll go down to. 
yarn over, insert your hook in the stitch. This is from the back side, so you see the both loops of the stitch there. Pull them to the front side of the work. So you're now having them on the front side. Yarn over, pull up a loop. You now have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops of the hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops of the hook. And we'll now continue with three single crochets. And it's important that you make it in the correct stitch. And that will be the third stitch on the yellow color. So you can look like this, that it's one, two, and then we'll make our single crochet in this third. So one, two, and three. And then we'll chain one, skip this stitch, make a long double crochet, we yarn over, go down to the gray, pull the loops to the front side, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops of the hook, yarn over, pull through two loops of the hook. Make sure that we skip two stitches here and continue with three single crochets. Chain one, skip one, long double crochet. And then two single crochets. Chain one and turn. Row six, we continue with three single crochets. Chain one, skip next stitch. And four single crochets. Chain one, skip next stitch, and four single crochets. Chain one, skip next stitch. And for the final single crochet of the row, we'll also change color. Insert the hook, pull up a loop, change to color two, yarn over, pull through both loops of the hook, chain one, and turn. This is how the front side of the work looks, or right side. So you can see that it's the right side since it has the long double crochets. On row seven, we begin with a single crochet. And now we'll do a long double crochet. Yarn over, go down to the yellow row, get the loops to the front side, yarn over, pull through, Yarn over, pull through two loops of the hook. Yarn over, and pull through two loops of the hook. Then we chain one, skip next stitch, and make three single crochets. Long double crochet. Chain one, skip one stitch, and three single crochets. Same as on row five, you always 
need to make sure that it's two stitches you've skipped here. One for the skip one stitch and one for the long double crochet. So here we make our long double crochet. Chain one, skip one stitch, so you know it's one, two, and then end with two single crochets. Chain one and turn. Row eight is a repeat of row three, so we make two single crochets chain one, skip one, four single crochets, chain one, skip one. You can see that this is the stitch to skip since it has a hole there, so you know it's one to skip and then you make four single crochets chain one skip one one single crochet and then we'll on the final single crochet we'll change color so pull up a loop take your color one and pull through both loops on the hook chain one and turn We have now completed eight rows and for row nine to 16, we'll repeat row five, six, seven, and eight. So meet you back for row 17. We are now at the end of row 16, where we'll make the final single crochet. Insert the hook, pull up a loop, and then change to color one. Pull through both loop on the hooks. And chain one. We're now ready with our color two. And can cut the yarn. For row 17, we'll make two single crochets, two, a long double crochet, so always make sure this on this round, you need to make sure that it's only one you skip, since you don't skip any stitch here. You just skip the one that you have your long double crochet on. So one, two, three, and four. Then a long double crochet. And four single crochet. A long double crochet. And then the row with two single crochet. Chain one. And turn. This round will make single crochet across. Chain one and turn. This is how our work looks like now. And we'll continue to make single crochet all the way around. So row 19 we make single crochet across our row and then when we reach the end of row 19, we turn our work sideways 
I continue to make single crochets around to create a nice border. It will be one single crochet per row. On the underside, this is the side where you had changed colors. So I always make sure to put the hook so that the stitch will cover the color changes. Make sure to keep the ends on the wrong side of the work. Putting my needle here. That way the color change is between the stitches or in the stitch. And I put this end on the back side and hold it a bit with my finger there. And now we're back at the beginning of row 19. Then we take our scissors and cut the yarn and pull through the yarn through the stitch. And then we take our darning needle and weave in our ends on the back side of the work. And then we, it's good to block it, meaning that you wet it and then pin it to a soft board that makes it keeps it, makes it keep its square form. And now you have your coaster ready. So that's it. Enjoy your completed coasters and don't forget to check out the blog post on lovecrafts.com for the pattern and all the details. I'm Emilia and you find me on Coffee and Crocheting at Instagram or Facebook or coffeeandcrocheting.com. Bye!